So we'll be solving equations with radicals in this section. And what we'll have for right now is we'll have variables that are not within the radical, uh, but there are radicals in the equation that we'll have to work with. And so therefore, just realize radicals are still just numbers. So these, these things are going to be solved pretty much um, as just normal equations, normal linear equations would be solved. Uh, we will get to other equations where the variable is under the radical in a later lesson. So we, as I said, we're just going to solve these equations just as any other equation. Isolate the variable and simplify your answer. So here's our first example. We have root 3 plus x equals 2. Well, this is really just a number, so we want to uh, get rid of this root 3. So all we would do is subtract square root of 3 from both sides. And I'll try to squeeze this in here. Subtract square root of 3 from both sides. And you will get uh, 2 minus root 3. And that's your answer. If you want an exact answer, you leave it like that. And we'll go to the next one. Here we have y plus root 8 equals 4 root 2. Well, these aren't like radicals right now. So what we want to do, we want to simplify. If we have different radicals, or any time we have a radical, we want to simplify as much as we can. So this root 8. We've seen root 8 a couple times before, but let's go ahead and simplify this. Root 8, any perfect squares go into root 8? Well, 4 does, so we're going to split this up into the square root of 4 times the square root of 2. So square root of 8 is really just 2 root 2. So we can rewrite this equation as y plus 2 root 2 equals 4 root 2. And to solve for y, 2 root 2 is added to it, we're going to, so we're going to subtract 2 root 2 from both sides. <coughs> and we get, we have 4 root 2 minus 2 root 2, which is 2 root 2. So y equals 2 root 2. So once again, solving just as we would before, that really this is set up in a form of something like um, 2x plus 4 equals 6. It's this form because we have a number, 2 root 3 times a variable. Actually, we can change this to, my, it's kind of like this, minus, so it's that minus 4 root 5, so minus a number equals a number. So it's a lot like this. So here we would add 4 to both sides and then end up dividing by 2. So over here, uh, we cannot simplify any of these radicals, so we're going to go ahead and add 4 root 5 to both sides. And that gives us 2a root 3 equals 6 root 5 plus 4 root 5 is 10 root 5. And we want to solve for a. Well, 2 and root 3 are both multiplied by that, by a, so we're going to divide by 2 root 3. What we do to one side, we do to the other. And so 2 simplifies with 2 and, and root 3 with root 3. So over here on the left, we have a equals, and outside the radical, we have a 2 and a 10, which we know 2 goes into both of those. And we also have a radical in the denominator. We learned that we can't have radicals in the denominator, so what we're going to do is we're going to multiply by root 3 because this over root 3. So the square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is just 3. So we have 3 in the denominator. It's times this 1, but that doesn't change the value. And then 5. And root 5 times root 3 is root 15. And that's the answer. This 3 doesn't simplify with anything here. This is not under a square root, and this is under a square root, so we can't simplify there. Next one is very much like the other one. We want to see if we can simplify any of our radicals first. Here we have the square root of 44. And so simplifying that, we know 4 goes into that. So we can think of that as square root of 4 times square root of 11, which is 2 root 11. And that 2 root, so this is 2 root 11. So we have 5 times 2 root 11, and then 7x root 2 plus 6 root 11. 
Notice here, this is just multiplied, so we have 5 times 2 is 10 root 11. And same, just bring down what we have here. We will subtract 6 root 11 from both sides, which leaves us with 7x root 2. 10 root 11 minus 6 root 11 is just 4 root 11. To get x by itself, we need to divide by 7 and we need to divide by root 2. And so we are left with x on the left side, and we do need to simplify here. Uh, 4 and 7 do not reduce, 11 and 2 don't reduce, so we will multiply by root 2 over root 2 so we can rationalize the denominator. So we have 4, root 11 times root 2 is root 22. And then in the denominator, we have 7 times and root 2 times root 2. These two together are 2. So we have 14. But we can simplify here with the things out not under a radical. Uh, 2 goes into this twice, and 2 goes into this 7 times. So we get an answer of 2 root 22 over 7. And so these solving these types of equations, we're using all the different things we learned earlier with adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, and simplifying radicals. And then we, we know how to solve equations, so it's using that also. Here we can uh, simplify root 20. Root 20 is root 4 times root 5. And so root 20 is 2 root 5. And so we can say this is a root 5 plus 6 equals 2 root 5. We'll subtract 6 from both sides. And that gives us a times root 5 equals, and these are not like terms. They don't have like radicals, so we just have to keep them as two separate terms. And then we're going to divide both sides by root 5. Dividing by root 5. Uh, we can't keep a root 5 in the denominator, so we're going to multiply top and bottom by root 5 which is really, again, just a form of 1. And so we get a equals, this simplifies. Distributing this root 5 gives us, well, a root 5 times a root 5 is 5, so 2 times 5 is 10, minus, and then the root 5 times the 6 is just 6 root 5, over root 5 times root 5 is 5. So we did the solving, subtracted 6, and then divided by root 5, and then the rest was simplifying a, a radical. So you don't have a square root in the denominator. Uh, we can simplify this root 8 here. Um, so root 8, which we saw before, is root 4 times root 2. So 2 root 2, so really over here we have 2 root 2 x. Actually, we can put the x here. 2 x root 2 plus 3 x root 2 is equal to 10. Well, now we see we have like terms here because these both have x's and it both has a radical, a square root of 2. So we have 2 plus 3 is going to be 5 x root 2 equals 10, dividing both sides by 5 root 2. <coughs> we get x is equal to 2 goes into both of these, 2 goes in, I mean 5 goes into both of those, 5 goes into 5 once and 10 twice. So we have 2 over root 2, but we need to multiply by root 2 over 2, root 2 over root 2, so we get the square root out of the denominator. So in the numerator, we have 2 root 2. 
over square root of 2 times square root of 2 is simply 2. And actually, these, this simplifies, and you just get x equals root 2. So this, at first it looked like we wouldn't have like radicals, but when we simplified this, we did. And the same thing will happen here. When we have root 24, well, that's really the square root of 4 times the square root of 6, which is 2 root 6. And so we can say this is 4x times 2 root 6 plus 7x root 6 equals root 7. And we have a 2 times 4, so this is really 8x root 6 plus 7x root 6 equals root 7. And now we have like terms. We have 8 of these things plus 7 of them gives us a total of 15x root 6 equals root 7. Now to solve for x, we're going to divide by 15 root 6. What we do to one side, we do to the other side. On the left side, we simply have x. On the right side, we need to simplify some because we have a square root in the denominator. So we're going to multiply by root 6 over root 6, which this gives us the square root of 42 in the numerator. The denominator is going to be 15 times 6, because root 6 times root 6 is just 6. 15 times 6 is 90. So we have root 42 over 90 is our answer for that one. For this one, we have a's here, but these are not like terms because this doesn't, or they're not like radicals because this has a square root of 2 and this does not. So what it says here is sometimes you have to factor. If your terms so it's an a, this is an a to the first, and so is this. But if they don't have like radicals, what you're going to do is you're going to factor out the a. And so we're going to factor out an a, and we would be left with root 2 plus 5 equals 3. Well, we want to solve for a. a is being multiplied by this number here. And so we're going to divide both sides by root 2 plus 5. And so on the left side, we just have a. On the right side, we have a radical that is not simplified. So if you remember these binomials in the denominator, what you need to do is multiply the, by the conjugate. So we'll have root 2 minus 5 on both the top and the bottom. In the numerator, we distribute. So we have 3 root 2 minus 15. In the denominator, if you remember when we have like an a plus b times a minus b, it's the first thing squared. So the square root of 2 squared is 2 minus the second thing squared, so minus 25. And we end up with 3 root 2 minus 15 over negative 23. So that is our answer. Now I will, will tell you sometimes in textbooks, they don't like the denominator to be negative. So what they'll actually do is multiply by an, another form of 1. They'll multiply by negative 1 over negative 1. And that would give a negative 3 root 2 and a positive 15. So actually, they would also put the, fifth, the positive 15 first, because a negative times a negative is ne positive. And then negative 1 times 3 root 2 is, like ne is negative 3 root 2. And then in the denominator, we end up with a positive 23. So this answer is correct, and this answer is correct. So if you ever have a fraction, and all the signs are exactly opposite, they are actually the same answer. Our last one to look at here kind of combines a few different things. It's still an equation, so we're still solving for a. So what we usually like to do is get everything with a on one side things that don't have a on the other side. So we're going to, this has an a, so we'll add 4a root 3 to both sides. And this works out well because they are like. And so we have 
2, a root 3 plus 4, a root 3 is 6, a root 3. We still have our minus 7 root 3 equals, and this became 0, so equals 2 root 3. We can add 7 root 3 to both sides. Now that we are down to this equation, this looks a lot like some ones we did earlier. So we're going to try to solve for a. So we added 7 root 3 to both sides. So this leaves us with 6a root 3 equals 9. 2 root 3 plus 7 root 3 is 9 root 3. And then we'll divide. To get rid of the 6 and the root 3, we'll divide by 6 root 3. And this works out very nicely because over here we have a. On the right side, the root 3 divided by root 3 is 1. And also notice that 3 goes into both of these. So 3 goes into this 3 times, and 3 goes into this 2 times. So our answer is simply 3 halves. And that's solving equations with radicals. Hopefully those different examples helped so you can get good at those.